everyone for this next installment of our 315 initiative videos we are in cape town in front of the u.s consulate behind me here we had to come to renew the kids passports and so we have to come here periodically to do passport stuff like that to renew their passports we had to come here for lily's consular report of a birth abroad and so we come here periodically to cape town to do some official things like that uh, we're also here in Cape Town for Chloe's ballet competition, so we're able to do both at the same time. This is just one of the the sort of perks, I guess. One of the interesting things about living in another country is having to come and do these sort of things at official government installations like the U.S. consulate. So I um, just wanted to give you a look. So we're on the sort of southern suburbs of the city of Cape Town in an area called Tokai. That's where the consulate is here in um, in Cape Town. So I um, hope you enjoyed this um, to see a little bit about life here. Uh, keep looking out for these videos um, and take part in our 315 initiative. Everyone just wanted to follow up on the last very short video in front of the U.S. consulate that we sent and let you know how things progressed from our visit there. So a couple weeks after we were there um, submitting the applications for the kids passport renewals uh, they came in the mail they arrived here to our house in Nizna and so all three of the kids passports have been have been renewed and so at that point we could then go ahead and schedule our visa renewal appointments and so we have done that about two weeks ago we completed that that process um, it, it is a it is a process um, each one of us was about 60 ish pages of a uh, piece of paper and from everything from bank statements to um, um, statements from our, our organization here in Nisna Hope to um, invitation letters from the kids school like it, just all sorts of things verifying that we are indeed um here to work and we are not here to be paid by a company but we have income sourced from overseas and so there's a a whole long process to submit that that paperwork it did cost about um just under a thousand us dollars and so it is a it's a pricey process um that we have to um, go through every three years or so you can pray for the submission of these of these documents so everything goes through the department of home affairs that's essentially the south africa's version of the u.s state department and um, home affairs is um, chronically behind chronically inefficient and so right now we have many people that we know of that have submitted their visa renewals and they are still waiting months months later months down the line um, and so just pray for um, just God's timing in that that those those renewals will come will come quickly and in a timely manner um, our actual current visas expire the end of July so we'll most likely be operating under an expired visa which is okay here as long as you have your renewal your renewal um, renewal applications already in place and so it won't be a problem as far as operating here in south africa it may prove to be a problem coming back from the u.s when we come back but by that point by the time we're actually back from the u.s we anticipate them actually having been um, received so anyways you can pray for that process it is a uh, it's 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 cumbersome and annoying and expensive but it's just part of the 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 thing you go through it's just part of life here in a in a different country and so that's something you can add to your your prayer list um, that those visa applications will come back. Many of you have have heard us speak about applying for permanent resident residency, um, and so that is something we would love to do in the future. That is, uh, last I talked to our immigration attorney, it was about a thousand dollars per person, and that could be an approval process anywhere from six months to three or four years it will take to get those back. So that's something that is not in the cards at this point, not yet. Um, but it's something we would love to do in the future that would set us up to avoid having the same process every couple of years, but also be really advantageous for, especially for the kids and for their future and that sort of thing. So um, you can pray with us about that. That's kind of a long-term a long-term goal when it comes to our status here in the in the country but the immediate need is to pray for those visas our three-year uh, volunteer visas to be returned quickly um, most optimally before we come to uh, the U.S. in December so you can pray for that. Um, hope you've enjoyed this bit of insight into some of the the logistics the quirky legal stuff when it comes to living over here. Um, hope you enjoyed that as always take a look at our 315 initiative we're still raising funds we are excited for how God has already been providing 
We are looking forward to how he continues to provide. If you've never jumped on board with us before, now is an awesome time for us. It would be really helpful for us as far as our support goes as we look forward to returning to the States to continue fundraising. Um, I hope to um, see many of you there on that side. More plans will come out about our trip there and our schedule here in the next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. We hope to touch base with as many of you as possible. Uh, we look forward to our time there, spending time with family over the holidays especially. Um, but for now, um, take a look, um, keep an eye out for our next video. I've um, got one coming about a really unique issue here in South Africa that we wanted to share with you, a very pressing need for the country itself. And so we wanted to uh, share with you a bit about the insights, about uh, a bit about that um, in our next video. So keep an eye out for that.